Hey guys, welcome back after so long. I haven't posted a video, I don't know, probably in weeks. And I've just been really busy with school. You know, it's been really hectic, but now I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna try to upload some videos for you guys. This boiled corn, I did it about a month ago and I uploaded it on Instagram, a picture, and a lot of you wanted the recipe. So I'm finally gonna share the recipe with you guys and I hope you all enjoy it. It's a really flavorful Trini boiled corn. It's packed with flavor. I like to put a lot of seasonings in my boiled corn. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you enjoy really spicy and flavorful foods like me, then you're gonna love this recipe. So if you wanna see how I do it, keep watching. To a pot of boiling water, you wanna add some corn in. And I'm adding them in whole, but you can cut them up into smaller pieces if you want. And I'm using these organic sweet corn from Costco. Honestly, they're the best corn I've ever tried in my life. They're so sweet and so soft to bite and I definitely recommend it. It's very similar to the Canadian sweet corn that we get in Trinidad. So I added some fresh coconut milk, one scotch bonnet pepper, some chopped bandana or shadow benny, some finely grated garlic, some salt, black pepper, and some ground Aleppo peppers. Everything that I used here will be listed in the description box below. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, the corn should be fully cooked. So I'm gonna turn it off now and I'll show you guys what to do next. Now I'm going to make a nice seasoned butter sauce to toss the corn in. Here I'm adding some melted Kerrygold butter. You can add any type of butter that you want. This is just the butter that I usually use. It's really, really flavorful. And I'm using the salted one. You can use the unsalted one, but you'll have to add a little bit of extra salt. Now add some chopped hot pepper. I'm using scotch bonnet. You can add any type of pepper that you want. Add some freshly minced garlic. I like to add a lot of garlic. The most important ingredient, which is the shadow benny or bandania, or you may also know it as culantro or ricao. I just chopped it up really finely. So just give that a mix. And at this point you want to taste it. Make sure it has enough salt and enough pepper and everything else. So if it doesn't then you can add extra. I'm adding a little bit of salt to mine as well as a little bit of cracked black pepper. I'm also adding a little Aleppo pepper. This is totally optional. You can use cayenne pepper or paprika in place of this. I just love the Aleppo pepper and I had it on hand, so I just figured I'd put a little bit. To a big basin or a bowl, you wanna strain all that boiled corn out of the liquid and make sure you get most of the seasoning as well. Now add your seasoned butter mixture to the corn and then mix it in. It's way too hot to use your hands right now, so use a spoon, but you have to do this while the corn is hot so that it soaks up all the flavor from the butter. Doesn't that look amazing? I wish you guys could smell it or taste it. It's so yummy and I promise you guys are gonna love this recipe, especially if you love very seasoned dishes. You'll love this one. And it's very similar to chow, like mango chow or something. Doesn't it look like a chow? It's really very delicious and I promise you guys are gonna love the recipe. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Be sure to leave me all your comments down below. Tell me if you like the recipe. Tell me how you make your boiled corn. I would love to hear from you guys. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. As soon as I post a video, you'll be updated. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!